hello, hello, and welcome to Kid Writes Quick Tips. I'm Michael Kidd. Now, let's talk a little bit about dealing with critics, because if you're a creative, you're going to have to do this. And you're going to have to learn how to take criticism. It's inevitable. Now, one of the first mistakes you're going to make, you're going to make it, everybody does it, is you're actually going to take the critics way too seriously. Most people especially creatives, we've kind of internalized the idea that we need to be open to criticism. We need to be open to constructive criticism. We need to be willing to improve and get better. And all of that is absolutely true. You do. 99% of criticism is not constructive. And 99% of constructive criticism, the constructive part of it, is a fraction of the actual criticism. Now, that doesn't mean you ignore critics, necessarily. Now, if you have a very active YouTube comment section, that you can safely ignore. There's nothing good there ever. If you have a very active Twitter fan base and you they're just annoying you today, you are not a bad person if you just mute your account for like a month and then see if they've gone away. Like, that's fine. But if you're seeing Amazon reviews that are just like, this is a problem, this is a problem, this is a problem, that's going to hurt. That's going to sting. Especially if you're getting one star, two star, three star reviews. Like, even a three star review, which some people see as average, and so they're not thinking in terms of, oh, well, this is bringing down his overall score. They're thinking in terms of, well, three out of five. That feels like it was an average book. I had a decent enough time. So the thing to keep in mind about criticism of any kind is before you release your story, before you release any bit of writing, the most important thing to do is to know what criticisms you want to avoid and what criticisms you are absolutely okay with. For example, if you write a story that's over the top and people are using words like silly or cartoonish, that's not bad. You did exactly what you were intending to do. That person didn't like it. You're not going to write something that everybody likes. But you did what you were trying to do. On the other hand, if you're trying to write something that's over the top and you're getting criticism that goes, it was boring, it was a slog, it, was, it kind of felt like I was reading an essay, that's a bad criticism. You just wrote a story in a way you did not intend. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. Me, personally, I can stand a lot of criticisms of some of my Jake Salvador stories. If somebody says, wow, that was really boring, that's going to break my heart. If somebody was to say, that was really silly and weird, yeah, yeah, it was. I don't... <laughs> I have... It's a story about a cowboy wizard. Yes, it's weird. So again, just learn to take criticism, but also learn to ignore it. Yeah, I know. That sounds like completely unhelpful advice. It sounds contradictory. But again, just go out before you even read any of the criticism. Know what criticisms you are okay with. Know what criticisms you are not. And know what the synonyms are. Okay? No. Okay, yeah, this word has negative connotations, but it means the exact same thing as this word. You know, somebody says that the story is weird, and somebody says that the story is unique. That's the same thing. It's really just a matter of, did the person reading it like it? So again, know what criticisms you are okay with, know what criticisms you are not be prepared and be active with the criticism i guess is a good way to summarize the tip be active about engaging in criticism don't just be responsive don't be reactive know what criticism you don't want to get know what criticism you do you are okay with getting and adjust accordingly